Hello everyone and welcome to this new video of The Central Land. In this video, I'm going to show you a VR version of DCL. Before starting, I want to tell you that this version is not official and it's still on development. This demo is being developed by Bilder, a project which consists of making virtual reality and augmented reality experiences on Oculus and HoloLens. These guys are working on two things. An integration which lets export scenes made on Bilder to The Central Land and a VR version that will let us play The Central Land VR before the official team releases it, which is what I'm going to show you today. Before starting, I want to Tell you that I'm using the version of April 29, which of course it's unfinished, it's still in beta, and it may be different from the one that you can download now at the moment you're watching this video. You can check the progress of this project on the Discord of the DAO on a channel made for this. For playing the Central and VR, you will need a gaming computer or at least a graphics card which is compatible with virtual reality. If you haven't played with the Oculus, you may know that you can install and play apps directly from the device. Unfortunately, this is not possible with the Central Land at the moment. The Central and VR is going to be executed on the computer and stream to the device. Maybe in the future we will have a native app, but right now that's not possible. So if your computer looks like this, then you may not want to try this. When you appear in the central land, you will realize that there is a button that is always following you. By pressing it, you will be able to open the map, check the places and events, and even use the backpack. In general, in the beginning, this works fine, but after some time, it could start failing. But again, this version is in beta and unfinished. I visit many places. I'm going to show you some footage, and it's very cool to see things that I'm used to see on PC, now on virtual reality. Something that I really liked was going to the rocking unicorns and seeing what a concept could look like in the future. I must say that live streams don't work on this version of VR, but the idea of being on a band room with other people is just awesome. In regards to games such as Goldcraft or 8 Metabolts, at the moment I'm recording this video, this version is not optimized for those. The problem is that we still lack some controls, so hitting the ball on games such as Goldcraft turns into a real challenge. It doesn't work properly and you may need to use your real keyboard or mouse. And talking about mouse and keyboards, there is another big problem that it's super hard to solve from a technical aspect, and it's MetaMask. Every time you need to sign something, you need to use your computer. From what I understand, this is because it's not easy to integrate MetaMask with Oculus, at least not at the moment. So make sure you have your mouse and keyboard close to you, or then the other option is to open your computer through Oculus, which is also possible. Some of the user interfaces that are basically made by the land owners don't work. For example, I cannot see how many gold coins I have on Goldcraft. The only way to see this is by looking at the computer, but it won't be displayed in the Oculus lose itself. In terms of general performance, aliasing is very present while playing. If you don't know what I'm referring to, it's basically the borders of the object. If you're looking far away, you will see how some borders shake. If you have an object close to your face, the aliasing is less noticeable. It's also true that aliasing is something common on Oculus, but for some reason, I see it a lot in the central land. I'm not sure if something can be done to improve this, or it's just a physical limitation. And yes, there is lag, especially when you jump into a land. The first seconds can be super laggy. And if you're streaming the game via Wi-Fi to your Oculus, it's even worse. After spawning, the lag usually stops, but it could appear at any time, even if you're standing on the same land. The worst thing happens when you have too much lag and the game doesn't render properly. That's going to give you a headache. I mean, it hurts and it's super annoying. If I will need to suggest something to the central and team that I want on a VR version would be the ability to pick up items and drop them on the world. Items that could work on all lands by default like a soccer ball, for example, and if the land owner wants to disable them, then give the option. Maybe because you have controllers on your hands, and it's cool to be able to do something at any time you want. It makes the whole experience more dynamic. Now let's go with the installation of the Quest 2. But before doing anything, this is super important. Make sure you have a graphics card compatible with virtual reality. On my case, I'm using RTX 2060 of NVIDIA. The first thing I'm going to do is go to the website of this project, which I'm going to put in the description, or you can also find on the Discord of the DAO and download the last version. Remember that this project is always getting updates, so the version I'm downloading now, it's the latest one, but it may be different from when you're watching this video. After downloading it, extract the folder from the zip, and as you see, the central end is inside of it. Now it's time to download the app of Oculus, which will allow us to connect the headset with the computer. Go to their website and press download software. Follow the setup instructions and install the software on your PC. Guys, something I forgot to mention is that in order to play the central end, we need to enable on settings, general, deception call, and known sources. Just press it here 
and press allow and there you go at this point we have installed all the software we need but we still need to connect the oculus with the computer on the oculus app press devices add headset and choose your headset in my case quest 2 now we have two alternatives connected via cable or using wi-fi the cable you need is the quest link cable you can buy it on the official website of oculus which i don't recommend you or you can get a cheap one from other store or other seller i got this one was cheaper and honestly i think it's just the same in most scenarios this is the best option because the latency is nothing if we compare it to connecting it via wi-fi i'm going to choose airlink because it requires more steps to make it work and i want to show you guys how to enable it so i choose airlink and after selecting it i will need to turn on my oculus and go to settings then on experimental enable airlink and after doing it it will appear to launch it on the settings press the oculus airlink button if you have used the cable i think it would say oculus link and choose your pc press pair and confirm the code in both devices then press launch and you will be redirected to oculus link then open the central and vr which is in the folder you previously downloaded your browser will pop up and you will be able to connect dcl with your metamask after you connect it the central and will load on your headset and that's all. Welcome to the Central Land VR. All right, you liked the video? Hope you did. It took me some time. You know, like I always say, give this video a like, subscribe, join my Discord server, follow me on Twitch and Twitter. And that's all. All right, bye.